sports. 96.7 KCAL Rocks. Here we are on Monday meeting. Let's talk some sports with our guy. What's up, Pep? Listen, we'll get serious. There's serious things oh. going on in the world. We'll get serious. Don't worry about that. But first, I want to start off with a little bit of a chuckle here. A little bit of a laugh. The And this was leaked, so I don't think they put it out on purpose. But the LA Rams, I guess, have a new logo or a logo they're going to throw on some hats. And this hat leaked on social media and was absolutely torn apart. Did you guys see the new LA Rams I logo? Did. I have, and I mean, I get it, they're, they're trying to, they were kind of waiting for the new stadium to come up with a new L.A. look. Now that the stadium's here, this logo has leaked. I don't think anybody's a fan of to it. To me, it looks like it should be the logo on the L.A. subway. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I mean, it looks like it should be on the side of, like, a city of Los Angeles car or something. Yes. It looks, uh, you can tell they want to put L.A. in that symbol so yes. badly. But yes. The Ram is what's cool. Yes. I mean, that symbol basically is just an L.A., then the A kind of has what is supposed to be a ram horn kind of coming up and around, but it looks more like a lightning bolt. Absolutely. It does. Picture the Chargers lightning bolt with the letters L.A., Right. and that's the new logo. Well, Pep, speaking of the Chargers, remember when they put up their logo? And then remember they, the first one? Then they pulled the, the old yes. kitten. The cross yes. between the Harry Potter and the L.A. Dodgers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, are the Rams yes. going to pull now because they're getting a huge backlash? Are they yes. going to pull the... Hey, it's joking about that. Well, that's it's funny is, so the Rams logo leaks on social media. And, and guess what's trending? The Chargers, because uh -huh. everyone thought it was the Chargers' Absolutely. new logo. I had to do a double take myself. I thought it was a Chargers logo. It looks logo. like a like Chargers said. logo. And then, Patrick, it goes back to what you said. People were like, oh, look at this dumb logo. Remember when the Chargers right. moved to L.A.? And they rolled out that one logo that had, like, a, light, a Harry Potter lightning like bolt. Harry Potter and the, the Dodgers. And the Dodgers logo. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it brought up all these battled memories. Like, it was, dude, hanging out on Twitter last night was hilarious. It's got to be subtle. Yes. It has to be subtle. Otherwise, it looks like an arena league. Yeah, it does. It. it I don't know. It, it's kind of comical. It almost looks kind of government to me, like no you said. I, I can see it on the side of like I mean, a city water car or the, something. Yeah. The only thing that could save it is if they come out with the uniforms and they're badass. Yeah, dude, they have to be badass. I don't see that happening. I don't either. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I don't see that happening. They're going to take a little uh, note out of the charge and go, and just joking. Just kidding. We're just... We'll work on this again later. We thought it sucked, too. Listen, they're back in L.A., and I think a lot of people who are hardcore Rams fans from Los Angeles are like, let's go back to our roots. Right. Let's go back to those original colors, the horns on the helmets, just plain. Right. Like, let's go back to what built us here in Los Angeles. And then they're like, no, let's go let's go comic book. Let's well, go. I mean, even if you remember last year, they have the, the Navy helmets with the white horns, right? Yeah, yeah, which is old, old school. Right, but then they never wore Navy jerseys no. once in the year, I don't yeah. think. They wore their bright blue, bright yellows yes. a ton. They tried to wear those as much as they possibly could. Yes. So it's like they need something to at least one cohesive look, finally. Yeah. To it. So if you haven't seen it, please, I'm sure you guys, you guys are awesome on KCAL social media. I'm sure you'll put that out there so that the fans can get a, a good laugh. Oh, they'll see it. <laughs> oh, they'll see it. <laughs> if you haven't already. Right. Yeah. Uh, we got more to get to. We got NBA. We got some uh, tennis news from out in the desert uh, coming up. It's all brought to you by Matheson Gas. They are the gas professionals. So if you need gas, your home, your backyard, anywhere in the Inland Empire for your local business, you can check them out at Matheson Gas in Rancho Cucamonga, Fontana, and Riverside. So that's three local locations to refill that propane tank they make it easy for you go online check out all uh, the products at mathesongas.com that's the website Matheson gas the gas professionals so the big news that broke last night because of the coronavirus that the bnp paribas the big time pro tennis tournament out there at indian wells that brings all of the top players in the entire world out to the coachella valley they have canceled it because of the coronavirus wow. yep uh, and i mean this coming after just on thursday basically out there they were saying hey coachella stagecoach the tennis tournament we're yeah. not canceling a thing and then all of a sudden late last night my wife is like yep it's canceled yeah, I mean, and that's what brings us in from sports as we transition into music. Right. I mean, yeah, those are, I don't know the exact dates, but with, what, they're in a month, less than uh, a month? April 10th is when yeah. Coachella kicks off. It's like off. a month, right? Yeah. So about a month away. Yep. So, and, I, I, you know, I'm not an expert over here, but I think there was, what, one confirmed case now out yeah. in the desert? I want to say Rancho Mirage. Mirage. Rancho Mirage. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's all it took to cancel the tennis just tournament. one, right? One case. Yeah. So how quickly do you think Coachella, I mean, they might pull the plug on that? 
it's, you know, you're hearing tennis and you're like, eh, but it is a major sporting event that was yeah. canceled here for one case within the whole county, yeah, which is one. the largest county. And there's a lot of businesses and money hanging on this thing. This was not an easy decision to just pull the plug on that. I think there is too much money in Stagecoach and Coachella, and there's no way they're going to Man, lose. the I mean, economic impact of this is huge. Even uh, it got around that the NBA has put out a memo to teams telling them, look, I mean, we might have to go to this no crowd stuff and start identifying who your essential employees are wow. in case they put that into effect. And did you hear what LeBron said, though? I love what LeBron He's said. like, if I walk into an arena and there's no fans, oh. I'm not playing. Yeah, he threatened to <laughs> sit out games if he doesn't have fans there. Wait, how would, though, no, seriously, how would this work if the NBA said, you know, guys, for two weeks we're going to play with no fans, uh, we want to make sure everyone's healthy, we, we, we want to try to, do, try to do the right thing, and the Lakers are like, Great, we'll we'll bring up our uh, our G League team. We're not right. we're not taking the floor with no I fans. Mean, like how there's a power struggle here. It's rough for them because they are in like I mean playoffs are coming up. They're the number one seed still. Yes. And so it's like if you did something like that, do you ruin your playoff picture just to prove a point? I don't know. Again, it's a power struggle. It's going right. to come down to money. It's going to come down to the fans. They're going to do it to see how it's run, so they can do it for March uh. Madness. That's another thing, right? Yeah. March Madness is coming up. Yeah. We, we've got the conference tournaments this week and then March Madness the following. Like, this is all coming to a head. There's, a, there's so much going on. we got baseball that's starting up. Like, yeah. I mean, something tells oh, me if man. it does get to a point where an outbreak is going on in L.A. and they are trying to, you know, have games without fans, that it's probably going to be such a big deal at that point. I could easily see LeBron walking back his words on something like this, but... I think he's just trying to get out there ahead of time and be like, look, don't even think that way. I'm going to take myself off the table if you're thinking that way. He does care about the fans, too. No, he does. That's and that's kind of what it comes down to. And, and that's, that's what, what he's saying. He's validating the fans. Like, man, we play for you guys. Yeah. Like, we want you there. If you're not there, I don't want to play. Like, no. you make it worth it. It's always done for 17 seasons and beyond. Yeah, so, I don't know. We'll see how this pans out. But the Lakers did clinch their first playoff spot since... It was 2012, 2013, wow. the last time they were in the postseason. It was a while ago. I mean, and they've they already a clinched it. Huge now. weekend. Friday night and yesterday. Huge Good games. games. Yeah. Beat Milwaukee Friday night. Beat, beat the Clippers on Sunday. Ooh, so wow. if you're a Lakers fan, I would say at least on paper, those are the two teams yeah. that you would have to get past to win the NBA title. Probably wow. the Clippers in the Western Conference Finals. Milwaukee in the NBA Finals. If everything played out like it looks the, like it's going no to. No doubt. Those three teams are the best. So we'll see if it actually plays out that way. I mean, look at the Toronto Raptors last year. We knew they were going to be good with Kawhi, right? Yeah. Kawhi Leonard, the pride of Riverside King High School. But for them to go all the way to the finals, there was a lot, a lot of good teams out in the East last year, including the Milwaukee Bucks. Boston was decent. Philadelphia was good. So, I mean, who knows? It's not a cakewalk to get to the NBA Finals, but at least the Lakers can be like, you know what? We've beaten the best, right? the other and best. You have to beat them in a series, which yes. is a bit tougher than these one-off games. But Obviously. they showed yes. that they could beat them in, I mean, both of those two teams yeah. within three nights. Correct. Yeah. And finally, so last week, ironically, I brought you the fact that Lamont Butler, the pride of Riverside Poly High School, passed yeah. Reggie Miller as the all-time leading scorer in poly basketball history. Well, just days after that, Riverside Poly played a CIF state playoff game. Six overtimes against Damien. The longest game in CIF basketball history. And in, they did lose 128-123. But in the process, another guard, DJ Davis, dropped 59 and beat Reggie Miller's single game record. Wow. So in a matter of days, Reggie Miller, probably the greatest three-point shooter in NBA history, had two of his records broken at Riverside Poly High School. Crazy. <laughs> he just watched them fall. He's like, what is going on? And he actually tweeted about Riverside Poly basketball if you follow Reggie Miller on uh, on Twitter he follows the Bears. It does kind of show how great Reggie Miller was though. Absolutely. I mean, long. Yeah. It's kind of cool his name kind of comes up yeah he gets passed but it's kind of like oh yeah he was a badass. Dude and, he and his sister. And his yeah and his sister probably the maybe the best basketball oh, family yeah. like one two <laughs> yeah it was uh what a run for for Poly basketball so. Get your stuff. Inland Sports, we got stuff on the Poly Bears right now on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the YouTube channel. Thanks, Matt. Inland Sports.